Now, the first thing that is very important to understand is how our pages on our website are structured. And we can nicely see that here in the navigator. If you can't see that navigator, you can come down here on the bottom left and click on the navigator icon to make it appear. So every page on our website is built using containers and inside of those containers, we have elements. So here in the navigator, we can click on that first container and the magenta line here will show us where that container is. So here, that first container is basically just the entire top section with this landscape background. When we click on this second container, which is inside of this first one, then we can see this gray line, which shows us that this part right here is the second container. And within that container, we have elements, which is the actual content on your website. So here we have a spacer, which is this top part of the container. Then we have this heading saying earth. We have another heading, which is below this saying endless potential. And then we have a button right here at the bottom. And the rest of this page is built in the exact same way. So when we scroll down, we come here to the second container. And then when we open it up, we can see three more containers, which just are these three columns right here. We can open them up and then we can see there's an image, which is this one. We have a heading, which is this web design. And then we have the text editor, which is for this text right here. So this is how our pages are structured. And I like to use this navigator whenever I get confused about the hierarchy of all of my containers and my elements. But whenever I'm changing something on the side, I don't really use it. So for now, we're just gonna close the navigator right here. And whenever we wanna take it back, we can just come down here and click on the navigator icon to make it appear again. Whenever you wanna move a container on your page, you can just hover over the container you want to move. And then you wanna click and hold on these six dots and then move the container to wherever you want to place it. Maybe we just put it right here. And now the position has changed. Whenever we need to undo something and go back one step, all we have to do is press Command Z on our keyboard for Mac or Control Z for Windows. And as we can see now, the container is back in its original position. Whenever we want to add a new section to our page, we have to first start with a new container. So to add a new container, we can just hover over an existing container and then click on the plus icon here at the top. Then again, click on the plus icon and then we can choose between Flexbox and Grid. I'm gonna go more in depth about what the difference is here, but for now, let's just choose Flexbox. And then we have some different structures we can start with. Maybe we wanna just do something with two columns. So let's choose this structure right here. And then we can also decrease or increase the width of these uh, columns here. And once this layout is looking good, we can start adding elements. So here, on the nine dots, we can find all of the elements we can add. For example, we can click, hold and drag in our heading. Then we can go back to our elements and maybe also drag in some text below our heading. And then maybe we also want to add a button below the text right here. And whenever we want to delete one of these elements that we've just added, we can simply right click and then click on delete. When we wanna delete the entire container we have just added, we can just hover over it and then click on the X, which will delete the entire container. 